That's right, Palm Pad. It was a scorcher out there. Temperature still into the low 90s in some inland locations, uh, but we had sunny skies from the coast further inland today. We do have a deeper marine layer that will start to push back into place tonight. What that will do is cool temperatures down a bit for tomorrow, but take a look at the wide range of temperatures anywhere from 77 degrees downtown uh, coming in at 66 degrees at LAX, but then you head to Burbank where temperatures are into the low 80s and low 90s in San Bernardino and River side counties. Uh, looking at the satellite radar composite, we do have those clouds just offshore. They will be moving back in tonight through tomorrow morning and the winds shifting onshore a little bit breezy out there. I'll have more on that and your weekend forecast coming up. Pat back to you. All right, it's actually going to get a little bit cooler. So oh. good news. Hey, take a look at Dodger Stadium. Oh, what a great night for a baseball game. Uh, we've got temperatures cooling down after a very warm day today. We've got mostly clear skies out there, a nice breeze. We're shifting more to an onshore flow. So what that's going to do, it's going to start to pull in that marine layer. So we will see some clouds in place later on tonight through tomorrow morning. Uh, but thank you, Sky 2, for that great shot outside. Again, we still have sunny skies out there right now. Temperatures running well above average today. Today we had a high of 80 degrees. The normal high downtown should be at 74. Uh, temperatures again today and for tomorrow staying a little bit above average, but overall we're dealing with some cooler weather due to an onshore flow that will start to move in. Currently 72 downtown, 60s at the coast, but inland and riverside still into the mid 80s. Let's take a look at those winds out there coming in out of the west right around 16 miles an hour. In Riverside, 11 in Lancaster, closer to the coast, winds are right around 10 miles an hour. So the winds are shifting. Yesterday, today, we had more of the offshore flow, but now we're starting to shift back to the onshore flow. I'll show you why in just a moment, but uh, the clouds are just off the coast. That's that marine layer uh, that will be pushing in later on tonight through tomorrow. Could be up to around 15,000 feet deep, uh, 1,500 feet deep, and so we will see the clouds in place for the first half of tomorrow, especially at the coast. You can see the extensive marine layer uh, that is well off the coast right now. What's happening is uh, we've had that ridge of high pressure in place, and that's been bringing us the offshore flow. So that's why it's been warm yesterday into today. This ridge is going to start to sort of flatten out as this trough of low pressure moves to our north. So instead of the offshore flow, we start to shift more to an onshore flow. Whenever we have that, that starts to bring in that deeper marine layer and slightly cooler temperatures. Tomorrow will be that day of transition. We're still dealing with temperatures above average, especially in those uh, valley locations, but uh, we are looking at cooler temperatures after that. But good news by the weekend, especially for Mother's Day, Ridge of High Pressure builds back in and we'll see less of the marine layer and some warmer temperatures. In the meantime, you will see some fog tomorrow morning out on the waters. Uh, southwest winds will be 5 to 10 knots, surf 2 to 3 feet, and swells out of the south and west will be 30 to five feet. All right, a look at your extended forecast temperatures into the upper 70s tomorrow in the basin, and we are also looking at temperatures into the mid 80s in the valleys, upper 60s at the coast. Notice the coast over the next two days with that onshore flow and that marine layer in place. We're going to be dealing with uh, pretty cloudy conditions, especially into your Thursday. But as we head into the weekend, the clouds clear up and temperatures above normal once again. Paul and Pat, back to you. Go ahead, go ahead.